Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. In one of my videos, I showed how to expand your Wi-Fi by adding one of the access points by Unified. This just happens to be the Flex HD that I have here. And I want to go back over that because a couple of y'all had some questions. Some of y'all thought that it's a lot more difficult than you thought. So I want to go ahead and go through this one more time. So this happens to be the Flex HD. I had two of these that were going on each floor and I've had these for a while and I've since upgraded. So we're going to be able to use this and we're gonna connect this to my travel router that I have here. So the idea is when you get one of these access points, it's like you ripped the Wi-Fi out of your router and you're able to place it in different locations. You can do multiple ones of these. I've installed this in multiple churches where you can have um, them on every different floors, different sections, so that the Wi-Fi coverage is the same. And it is completely different than from an extender. An extender just, captures the signal and then repeats it. This is actually going to be the exact same Wi-Fi here, but it's gonna be located in a different location. And like I said, I upgraded mine and I'm actually donating these to another church. So that's why I'm gonna use this because right after this, we're gonna be doing the same thing with them at the church. So first, let's look at the setup that we got here. So I got my laptop right now and I'm gonna take this off of Wi-Fi. And what you need to do is have whatever router you got. It doesn't really matter which one you got, but I am going to connect my computer directly to this router. And this is for the setup, all right? And my access point does require power, so... I need to get my cables from all over the place. How about we just disconnect it? All right, so this is a PoE injector that's gonna give me power to this access point. Let me plug this in to the power brick I have under the table. And I think I have enough cables for this. So we're gonna run one cable to the LAN in on this network here. Let me into this router and we're going to connect this to the and I, I don't have a long enough cable to get here. We're going to connect this to the network in on my POE switch. All right. Now we're going to connect this access point. And if you got a POE switch, this is not an issue. But again, this is not a POE powered travel hub. We connect this here and boom. Now we've got power. Hopefully you can see that. See, now it's powered up. Now it's not configured and we need to plug the router up so we can get some power. And let me see, do I have another cable I can use for that? I use this USB-C cable to plug right into my USB surge down here. All right. So as you can see, it is now powered up. And we're going to be getting internet totally from, well, actually, there's no internet on this at all. So, and this is one thing I had to notice when you do this from your phone. Um, let me see. I think I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna do this from my phone as well too. So I need to make sure I am connected to the Wi-Fi on this. So if I cut over to my computer real quick, you will see here, if we go to our IP address, so we haven't gotten anything yet. All right, there we go. So we got an IP address of 192.168.8, and that's the connection here. So first, let's verify that we actually have a connection to the router. So we're going to go to 192.168.8.1. All right, let's go ahead and log in. Alrighty, so we're connected. So let's look over at our clients. 
And boom, there we go. There is our unknown. That is going to be considered our, well, not considered. That is our access point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and connect to this. And we're going to make sure first we're going to put our phone because I'm going to do this over um, using the Unify app to connect it. I don't know why I couldn't speak that out. But anyway, so when we look at this, we want to get the Wi-Fi that's on this router and we want to use that, the SSID, that's what we want to put on this access point because the point of doing this, at least for me, is wherever I walk, like here in the house or where I do this at a church, whatever, it's the same Wi-Fi and it just hands it off no matter what part of the building you are. So you're not like getting disconnected and you got to connect to a completely different Wi-Fi with a different password. We're sharing the same password. Again, it's like we ripped the Wi-Fi off of this router and we're just carrying it to different parts of the building, but it's the exact same thing, all right? So now let's go ahead and let me get back to this camera here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to make sure my phone is actually on the Wi-Fi for this travel router. So let me go ahead and do a screen recording now so you can actually see what I am doing. All righty, so now let's bring up our Unify app. And first, let's make sure we're on the right Wi-Fi. So we're on the TB Mobile. Let's connect to that. Now it's gonna throw an error. Be mindful of when you do this, because this is what messed me up. The phone is trying to be smarter than it needs to be, and it's saying here, there's no internet access. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna say stay on the Wi-Fi, because I need that for this to work. All right, so now let's go inside our Unify app. If you already have this, you can download it for free, set up an account, all this other fun stuff. All right, so now we're gonna go to the plus right here and see because I'm on the network and this is plugged into the network, it actually sees the Wi-Fi, if um, the access point. If you didn't, there's a QR code on the bottom of this that you could actually scan. Um, and that works fine, but I'm just glad it pulls up this way. If you set up everything the way I've done, it should show up. So let's go ahead and tap setup. No, I want to set this up without Unify. And it's just talking about the benefits of it, I know. But we're just gonna set this up without it. We're gonna connect to the access point. All right, so again, it connected, but it's saying, remind you again, there's no controller. That's fine. I want to proceed without that. Yes, I want to proceed. It just tells you the limitations. You can only have one SSID on this. Typically, you can have four to seven, I believe. Um, there's no meshing that you can mesh a bunch of them together. Um, the configurations are only for one device. So like when I installed mine, which I just did, it picked up the settings that I've already done and just pushes it to everything, makes it super easy. But again, the benefit of this, I started with this when I had a Netgear router, I added this, and then when I got a Unify controller, it allowed me to move into all the stuff that I do. So again, you don't need it. So let's proceed anyway. Next, we can give it a name. I'm just gonna say Travel AP for right now. Do next. Now this is where we wanna copy over the SSID that we had in our original system. So this one is TB hyphen mobile. And then we're gonna put in the password, which obviously I'm not gonna show you. All right, we got that there. And then we hit finish. And we're just gonna give it a little bit for it to connect. And then we should see this on here. And in theory, we'll be able to connect to this. Now, the real test is gonna be when I come in here, does the Wi-Fi work? If I turn off the Wi-Fi here, can I still connect? That, that will be confirmed that we know that this is working. And you might not be able to see it, but the access point actually switched on to solid blue, so it is connected right now. So I'm just waiting for the app to finish doing its configuration. It says it's about like a, a minute and 30 seconds. So we'll just let that finish. And then what we're gonna do is turn off the Wi-Fi on the router. 
So the Wi-Fi is not available. The only way we're going to get Wi-Fi is going to be through the access point just to verify that everything is done. So while we wait, let's go over here to clients and we should have a name now. So there it is, travel. It, this router doesn't like when you do spaces. So I had it travel space AP, but there it is. There's the name, it's configured. Um, and we see my phone is connected over Wi-Fi. My laptop is connected directly over ethernet. So let's go back here. Now what we're going to do, this is doing 5 gigahertz and 2.4. We're actually going to turn both of these off because they're all the same. We got about 40 seconds left on this. So if we go ahead and turn this off, oh, and it's actually already doing it. I didn't want it to do it. All right, so it actually says it's already done on the phone. So now let's wait. We're going to turn off the Wi-Fi on here. So the 2.4 is turned off. And we're going to turn off the 5 gigahertz. So the only thing that should be working right now is going to be the Wi-Fi that we just set up through the access point going through this travel router. All right, so it's completely off now. All right, so on here, it's going to say join. So I saved it. And the device is finished being set up. And if you look on the app, this is actually a standalone device. So it says, I want to stay on the Wi-Fi. I'm still on the Wi-Fi, but remember, the Wi-Fi is off. So, and there you go. There's the standalone app all the way at the bottom there. So, again, let's look at this right now. So, as of right now, I am on Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is off on the router. We're going directly from the access point, all right? So, and I still don't have internet. Let's actually go look at the desktop here and we're just going to verify the same thing here so the phone is already here now let's look and see what the clients are because again the wi-fi is off we're only using the access point so let's just verify it again five gigahertz is off 2.4 is off the guest network is also off the guest is also off so they're completely off all right, let's go to our clients and let's see. See, it's showing that my phone is connected over a network connection, but it's not. It's connected over the access point, which is really cool. So now, just to verify this again, we're physically connected over a cable with our, um, with our laptop. So let's go to the top-down view so you can see. What we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect I'm going to disconnect my laptop here. So now we're not physically connected to this at all. All right. So now, obviously, we can't even refresh because we're not connected. Let's go ahead and connect to the Wi Fi. And we're looking for TV Mobile. And there it is. Can we connect? And boom, we're connected. It should say that there's no internet, but let's go ahead and go to our IP address. That's what it originally was, is 157. Let's run it again, because we should have one now under Wi-Fi because we didn't have anything before. So as you can see, Ethernet is disconnected and we have a new IP address. So we are connected over Wi-Fi, over the wireless LAN. So we're connected to the access point to our travel router where we turn the Wi-Fi off. All right. So let's go back to this page. And let's see how I'm connected now. See, it still says that I'm connected, but we're connected wirelessly. So again, if we did a little top down, we're still not connected. I just have a fan here. If I need to tilt back and forth for you to see, 
there is nothing there except for my power cable and the HDMI cable so that you can actually see. So again, really cool. And like I said, it is very straightforward as long as you follow those steps. Again, let me zoom in so you can actually see this. If you did it this way, you will go so you can actually see it. See, that's the, if I can get it into focus there. See, now there's the, um, the QR code that if you wanted it to do it the other way, you could in the mobile app scan it this way. But the fact that the computer, since you already had everything connected, it just shows up, thankfully. The phone was on the network that was this was plugged into and it just worked straightforward. So I hope that helps. I know a bunch of y'all in the comments on the previous video said this was, if it was only that easy, it is. As long as you connect everything and go through the same steps, you should be fine. So let's go over it one more time. You got whatever router that you have, connect your phone to that router, connect your access point to that router, connect the computer to that router. You don't really need the computer. I just did that to show what I'm doing. But as long as the access point is connected to the router, your phone is connected to that same router and you go through the Unify app, it should show up just like you saw with mine. So let me know if you have any other questions. Links are down below to everything that I use with Unify. I use the exact same stuff. I don't have an affiliate code with um, Unify. I wish I did as much stuff as I install with them, but I've been using their stuff for at least seven, seven years now, really enjoy it. And I only recommend stuff that I personally use myself. I don't know if you can actually see it. Well, no, you can't. My whole <laughs> Unify rack is over there. So all my stuff is there and I got all Unify switches up behind me, another switch right there. So really use, use the stuff. Um, I would never talk about it unless I used it personally myself. But anyway, link is down below to all the ones that you're using. I've used almost all of the access points except for the 7 series that just recently came out. I don't need it right here in the apartment. I mean, in, in my house right now. But anyway, um, let me know if you have any other questions. And I think that's about it. I think I've <laughs> blabbed on enough. Hopefully that helps you. If you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.